And specific exam findings or tests that we can do to help diagnose hip osteoarthritis include your intraarticular test. First off, we have just simply pushing that hip joint into excessive flexion and internal rotation, applying some overpressure to it. If there's pain, if there's crepitus, that will indicate potentially that there is hip osteoarthritis. Next, we have the scours test. Uh, for all these tests, patients will be lying supine, and the knee that is going to be examined will be flexed. The examiner then will move the patient's leg into flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. And while maintaining that flexion and adduction, uh, the examiner slowly circles the hip in a clockwise and counterclockwise motion while applying pressure through that hip joint. Um, and then the examiner is just exa observing for any pain, clicking, or any catching sensation. Next, we have the Faber test or flexion, abduction, and external rotation test. Patient once again is lying supine, the examiner will flex, abduct, and externally rotate the patient's hip. The patient's foot is then placed on the opposite knee, forming that figure four position, as kind of seen right here. Um, and then the examiner then apply a gentle pressure downward onto the patient's knee, uh, stressing, stressing that hip and the SI joint. And finally, we do have the Deers test or uh, flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. Uh, the patient does lie supine as well. Uh, the examiner then will flex that hip to about 90 degrees and adduct the leg while internally rotating it. Uh, examiner will then apply just that gentle pressure again to that knee, uh, pushing it towards the contralateral leg as seen kind of right here. And then um, looking again for that pain, clicking, or any decrease, just motion in general.